Hello there. Okay, early on in my video making days, I flamed this optimizer and named it the worst optimizer. Now it's had a complete overhaul and it is amazing. It is incredibly user friendly, sleek, to the point, and with some nice quality of life addition. Full credit to Juvia for the insane amount of work that has gone into this and MMLH for the maths. Find it in the description. This is a browser based optimizer. Provided you're not running in incognito mode or you don't mind some cookies, you will only have to put your details in once, then tweak as necessary. It is hands down best artifact optimizer available, so much so that I actually use it to make sure my nouse isn't too far off the money and I haven't used an artifact optimizer since 16k. It is also a very efficient skills optimizer. An important note here is it will automatically just spit out the most efficient build based on your inputs. If you want to tweak and customize things because for instance you like to have eternal darkness at 25 then stick with MMLH's optimizer also linked below. Although for this example there's an easy workaround which I'll mention later. This is a walkthrough talk through on how to use it. It is incredibly easy and self-explanatory but we'll run through it anyway. All right there are three tabs options artifacts and skills we'll start with the options tab what is your total lifetime relics find it in the stats menu slap it in there what is your total skill points find it in your skill tree slap it in there what do you like your book of shadows to be kept at this is personal preference and it will prioritize this artifact to that percentage first always i like mine to be about five percent but in this case i'll use ten percent what is your strongest hero so what hero do you get to when you are reaching your max stage chuck them in otherwise follow the recommendations and keep all hero types balanced in the long run this is easier and it's just smoother transition between heroes. How much all probabilities boost do you have? Do you have a slash equipment that has all probabilities in? If you do, chuck it in here, otherwise leave it at one. What is your current critical chance? Find this in the stats panel. What is your current chesterson chance? Find it in the stats panel. What is your current cleaving strike level? If you haven't reset your tree yet, put it in based on what your skill tree is currently. I like to reset my skill tree before making a new build, so mine would be zero in this case, and that's what I'll put in. What is your current spoils of war? Again, in the skill tree, I've reset mine, so it's a big fat zero. What is your intimidating presence level? Found under the Swordmaster tab under passive skills, mine is 94. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to have 25 ED at all times, chuck this down to one and job done, it will always recommend that. What bracket does your current max stage fall under? What is your crafting power level? This can be found in the equipment crafting panel. What level of Warcry can you afford and what level of shadow clothing can you afford? Basically, if you're low level in this game and you can't get them to 25 by max stage, chuck it in there. Otherwise, just chuck it at 25 because you can always afford it. Which build do you use? Notice the word build is written in pink. The reason for this will become evident later on. I use shadow clone. What's your primary source of gold? Notice the word gold is written in green. The reason for this will become evident later on. I use Chesterson. Do you primarily play offline? No, I play online. If you play offline, I recommend not using this optimizer. It isn't really built for it. Do you upgrade your artifacts by fixed numbers or percentages? Find this under the artifacts tab in game. Roughly how many taps per second do you do? If you have power of swiping on, it's 20. If you have a CS build and tap has nothing to do with it, then it's zero. Otherwise, it's whatever you tap at. How long are you willing to wait for a kill? How patient are you? This impacts things like lightning strike. Five seconds is probably enough. Okay, this is quite an important one. If you can't afford the next best skill, do you want to spend your remaining SP on the next next best skill? Or do you want to save it and wait for that? As the note says, choosing to spend all the remaining SP, even if it isn't the next best skill, means that you're going to have to respect more often to stay in sync with the recommendations. Do you like your large numbers to be displayed in letters or scientific notation? I didn't mention this earlier, but you can actually have both in this, which is quite nice for you letter users out there. Okay, equipment set. If you have the set, click them. Easy. Your artifacts. Click the ones you have. If you have all of them, click this button and it will mark that you have all of them. Okay, now you'll notice the colors. Pink are the damage artifacts that are relevant to the build you selected. Green are the gold artifacts relevant to the gold choice you selected. These grayed out ones have no impact other than artifact damage. All the light gray ones at the bottom are the ones that have a cap. Cap them when you can. You'll notice that some of them are green and pink, invaders, galahorn, cobalt plate, etc. That's because they do both things. Awesome. And that is it. Job done. From here we'll move on to the second tab. Artifacts. Okay, here is the artifact optimizer. Based on your total relics and the artifacts you have unlocked, here is the best way to spend your relics in upgrading them. An important note here is that all the artifacts that are at cap are excluded. Cap them when you can. This can be organized in a number of ways. It can be as it is now, how it is in game. Or you can click this and flip it for whatever reason. You can also organize it by lowest percentage to highest percentage and highest percentage to lowest percentage. That's more just interesting than anything. Realistically, you want it how it is in the game. By clicking and dragging, you can copy this and then you can paste it into a Word document. One important thing to do if you're gonna do this is chuck these little tabs in, otherwise it becomes a mess. Otherwise, leave it as it is or use a snipping tool, whatever's easiest for you. So all you're actually doing here is making your artifacts in game be the level that it says 
on the screen here. So on your next prestige, you find out that your Book of Shadows isn't quite making it to there. Put some in till it's here. Obviously you need to update your total relics and these will all change accordingly, but try to keep up with it. Try to get as close to these as you can to be optimal. And that is it. That is the artifact optimizer done. Now onto skills. This will be short and sweet. Skills tab, here it is. The optimal build based on everything you've put in so far. GG, that is it. I don't actually use this part of the optimizer because I like to tweak my builds a little bit for how I like to play. No third skills other than dimensional shift. I like to max eternal darkness. I, I like to go fast. So that is the revamped Roku app, Tap Titans 2 optimizer. I highly recommend it. Hopefully I've captured everything. I'm sure I'll be told if I haven't.